Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Cliff with Pink Flamingo Power Wash. I'm back with a brand new video for you guys. Um, today, we're going to talk about a little, little bit of marketing. I know a lot of people have been asking me how I get leads, how I stay busy. Uh, especially right now, it's kind of slow, it's up and down. If you're new to the business and not getting any leads, uh, these are some ways you can pick up you know, some more clients. So um, for me, what I do is when I'm slow, of course, I do the yard signs. You guys know I always preach about yard signs. Another thing you can do is you can do email blasts to like realtor companies, property management companies, and roof roofing companies. So for the property management companies, you know, people moving in and out pretty much every month. So what you want to do is you want to look for all the property management companies in your area. You know, just email them. You know, you got you gonna have to do one by one unless you can get a list. Me, I normally just search um, near my area or my city. I just type in for uh, I just search for property management companies, and you know I get five pages worth. So, therefore, I email them. Basically, what you want to do is you want to get on their vendor list. So the vendor list is you know in their database. So when somebody does need exterior cleaning, you'll be in there and. Normally they keep like one or two companies in their database per area. So that's a good one to uh, to be on. Uh, same thing for the realtor. You know, realtors, you know what I'm saying? I know <laughs> they want the uh, commission. Sometimes, you know, they're hard to deal with. But definitely want to get in with some realtors, uh, you know, in their back pocket, man. Just because they, they do throw you some leads. And I have gotten plenty of leads from uh, realtors. Uh, like I said, roofing com uh, roofing companies, you're going to get some leads, but you're not going to get them consistently because obviously they're going to be putting new roofs on. But what you get the lead for is to clean up when the, you know, the the roofers, you know, like you see that you guys seen that well, I've, I've cleaned up roof tar. Uh, I've cleaned up driveways for them because, you know, the dumpster may have leaked some um something out the dumpster might leak out the driveway so they send me to clean the driveways even sometimes they had me just clean the driveway just because they did something and the, uh they want to make the customer happy they just you know send me out there to clean the driveway um roofing manufacturers the shingle manufacturer i deal with is gaf so they, they make the shingle so i guess there's a certain limit of time or time frame where the roof is not supposed to get dirty so if your roof does get dirty before that time, they do send me out to go clean them. Uh, they, they have something that's called tobacco juicing. It's like uh, some green stuff that comes off the shingles. Uh, it happens, you know, pretty rare, but it does happen here uh, here and there. So the one is, you know, sometimes they send me out to get, that, uh, to get that cleaned up. So that's three tips for you guys. I hope y'all, you know, just get in there and just, you know, interact with these people. Hey man, if you're not doing nothing at home, you know, just email blast, man. Send out. Sometimes I send out 30 emails in a day. You know, like I said, just I want to stay active. I want to stay in front of these customers. So I got two jobs today, light day. Let's go get that money.
Uh, this is the second job we're gonna be doing here. This is a uh, returning customer. Last time we were here, me and Eli, we did the pool deck, he did the rug and all that. You guys seen the video. But I cleaned this um, driveway sidewalk about a year ago. This customer kissed her property looks pretty good. I'm saying that she keep, she keep it looking good. So um, today we're just gonna be doing the front of the house, the front wall of the house also this brick wall right here as you guys can tell i got some algae on it it was worse last year when i did it but it's starting to come back so we're gonna clean that up right here see how bad that is and the driveway look a little dirty so we're gonna clean that up too been trying to set her on a roof cleaning, but she's not ready, man. She definitely needs a roof cleaning. Um, I'll be coming back in a couple of weeks to do her fence. I haven't done a wood video in a while, so you guys will see me doing the wood, the wood fence. You see how bad it looks on the inside. Looks pretty bad. But today we're here for this part, so let's get it cracking. Downstream, I mix. You only gotta go too heavy on nothing like this here. Nice and easy.
All right, so we just got done soaping the front of the house. Can't tell my drip edge is already coming clean. I'm gonna give it about a couple more minutes. I'm gonna change my injector to water so I can rinse it out. Make it last a little longer, man. Let's take a look guys, we are done here. Under an hour actually, just about an hour. Not at the driveway, the front of the house, that um, brick wall over there. Everything came out great, let's check it out. Driveway here, sidewalk, looking good, no lines. I didn't have to, um, post street. Let me close this gate for them. No lines whatsoever, man. Did the roll gutter. All the way down to the property line. Same thing for the uh, 
sidewalk check out the walkway looking good up here check out the wall I had all the algae still kind of wet but no algae baby yeah man we're looking pretty good all right guys that's all she wrote man in and out two projects uh one took about 40 minutes the other one took about an hour hour and 40 minutes 400 bucks can't beat that man i'll take that any day too easy job i'm done for the day <laughs> All right, man, y'all stay tuned. Like I said, go in the description. I got the giveaway going. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate all the support. Let's get to that 6,000. I'm going to see y'all in the next video. Peace.